Wow, we are out here early. What is going on guys? Welcome to Florida. Out here with me Ancient. And we are gonna fish a Florida pier this morning. Very early morning, try to get on a some sort of top water bite, I guess. Is that for the tibial? First we have to pay on the pier. Pretty expensive for the pier, eight bucks per person to fish. Even to walk out on the pier, it's two bucks. Just to walk out. All right, we've paid our dues. I'm making my dad pull the beach golf cart. Oh, oh, a big a swirl out there, like some fish right out there. Oh, that is a good sign. That's a big swirl. That might be a dolphin, maybe. If dolphins wake up this early, I'm not sure about dolphin habits. All right, we've come to the very end of the pier. Should we start? Uh, let's see, everybody's standing at the front. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. right there. Do you have a lot of experience out here? Uh, not a jetty. The jetty. Like the Destin jetty? Okay. I fished it here because I thought it was super busy. Uh-huh. And I still feel that way. <laughs> so I'm just using like a little cast master. Is that like good? I don't know. I and then has, never it's kind of old. Uh-huh. Yeah, they like... Oh, get him up, get him up, get him up! Oh, we got him away! Oh, he's, he's trying to keep this fish away from the dolphins. That's crazy. Nice, Spanish. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. That's a bubble rig, a gotcha rig combo. Okay. Do you just like? All right. Sounds, sounds good. Changed. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Natalie. Probably see. I'll be out here for several hours, so I might see you again. Okay. See ya. My dad's switching to something we just got the other day in Walmart. These little tiny pink shrimp sabikis. So, see if something happens there. All right, guys, I haven't caught anything for the. You can see where the sun is. First 45 minutes or so. I've had a nice conversation with the fisher girl, but uh, that's been it. All right, my friends. Once I get my sabiki untangled, I just switched to a little shrimp sabiki. It's very similar to my dad's, but uh, this one is just a little clear shrimp. Cause these guys over here are killing it so and i mean they're catching a lot of bait fish too but they're also catching spanish mackerel so that's what i came out here for for game fish oh there's a dolphin right down there guys you see that all the fishermen hate him on the pier i have to admit i'm still at that stage where i'm like this is cool <laughs> got him got something guys my first fish of the day what do we got? Oh, it's a jack. Well, got the skunk out of the boat anyway. He's a little grunting one. There we go. Yeah, I might go beach fishing later. So I'm actually going to save this guy for bait. Catch a shark or something. I hear him grunting up a storm. They do grunt up a storm. They do. All right. Hey, out of the way, pigeon. Guys, you see this big cloud of fish down here? I'm gonna drop the GoPro down, and, uh, underwater GoPro in just a little bit, and we'll check out all the stuff that's under this pier here, because there's, there's a lot of wild things going down. Got him. I got something. All right, fish number two. It's another jack. Yeah, but look, no pops, I see some bigger ones down there. Hmm, this is a little bit bigger jack. He bit the very top one too, the sabiki. Fish number two. It's just a matter of time before we get something different here. Up, up, up. 
Huh. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm. Oh, I got one. Got something. This one's a little strong little fish. Oh, it's because I have... Oh, I have a bunch of them. I have a bunch of fish. Oh, they're all jacks. They're a bunch following and I got three. That's crazy. It's been a long time since I got a triple catch. It was actually kind of fun catching three of them. Oh, look, here are the silverfish again. I wonder what those are. Yeah, I'm definitely getting the GoPro out in just a minute. Got him. Fish on! That dolphin's going right for it. Guys, you see that? There's a dolphin. He's looking. Oh, he like spun around it. Look at the dolphin. He's trying to steal my fish. What the heck? Look at him. Get away, Flipper. Get away. Get away. <laughs> Oh, he's just playing. I think he's just playing. Hey, yeah, you could he could totally grab it if he wants to. That is so cool. I mean, the fishermen hate him. Actually, guys, all the fishermen on the pier are furious that the dolphins are around. <clears throat> but I think they're kind of cool. So we won't tell anybody. I'm actually going to keep one more. I'd rather have more, too much bait than not enough. And look who's on the pier. He's waiting for breakfast. That's actually really cool. The newbie on the pier thinks all the animals that everybody else finds annoying. He, I think they're really cool. <laughs> Hopefully, get to keep her pumping her. That would be really cool. I think that is a pompano. Oh, he's got you around the... That, I th well, let's see. Yeah, it is a pompano. Nice! Oh, that, well, I think it'd be 12 inches, yeah. Cool, though. It's still fun. Look, it wrapped, it hogtied and wrapped around his tail. He ain't getting away. All right, man, we just need some bigger ones. Cool. Yeah, yeah first, there's cool. something a little bit different. Guys, pompano, yeah. if those are over 12 inches, those are excellent eating. They are good eating. We had one mm. of those in Daytona. Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah members only video if you guys want to become members see extra content link in the description and it helps your channel yeah it helps my channel out it's only one buck a month and you get entered into giveaways right, that is such a beautiful that fish. is a cool okay. little snub nose little snub nose pumping there there is. Is. oh there's a dolphin right there the dolphin doesn't get him the dolphin says ooh, ooh pumping oh my oh is he gonna eat him <gasps> oh, oh he just man. ate him Oh, he just... Well, I can't keep him, but he can't. But yeah, he doesn't follow any other regulations. Wow. Look at the dolphin. He's just checking out my line, but he never gets tangled in it. All right, guys, underwater camera going down. No guarantees on the footage. You can get a dolphin if you Yeah, look at all these dolphin here. All right, so I'm gonna see how many species I can identify here. I see a surgeon fish right there, which is kind of unusual, but then we have a lot of the usual suspects, pinfish. I see a small snapper right there. A lot of bluefish, remora laying on the bottom. That was really unexpected, how the remora lay on the bottom and rest like that. I didn't know they did that. In fact, I don't even know many fish that, at least that I've seen in my own small world of experiences, fish that rest on the bottom like that. I thought that was pretty cool. It reminded me of kind of a tired fish. They they suck two sharks and stingrays and stuff like that and hit your free ride. They lay on the bottom. Um, <laughs> kind of a lazy fish that way. What did surprise me is I don't see any like big grouper or snapper or anything like that. Even with these gnarly pillars here and all the bait fish, no real big predator fish hanging around under the pier and that that really surprised me i don't know if it's the time of year or that's just usual but with all these bait fish hanging around it seems like there would be more of those <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny the dolphins are following up <laughs> i can't believe all the bait fish are out here see all the uh there's guys there's just so much life out here the dolphins all the bait fish big fish jellyfish you got everything going on herons on the pier hey how are you 
dead? Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, somebody got a bunch of them this morning. How did you fit them dead? You can't fit them all in there. There's just so many fish. Mm hmm. He's going to eat them later. I've got two, yeah. Oh, these might be bait right here. Hmm. Yeah, these might be bait. I think I found my bait here, folks. We're just keep casting down there, and we're just catching lots of them. You want to try it? You want to try it? All right, I'll cast it out for you because it's hard to cast this thing. All right, we'll get it out there. All right, I'm gonna sink to the bottom. There you go. And now you just reel it in nice and slow. There we go. Buddy, I'm gonna laugh if you catch like a monster. That's why I've been out here all morning. I haven't caught anything big. He's gonna catch like a Spanish mackerel. I'm gonna laugh if I catch a jellyfish. So that dad is over there. He's fishing with my other rod. And uh, I'm rigging up, guys, something to put these little jacks on. I'm hoping for some other bait fish, but we'll you start with them. How many fish do you have? Like, you have three. Mm-hmm. One. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. If daddy catch another one, it will be Four. Yeah, exactly. And then he catch an eye this one. Uh, he catch an eye. Oh look, he's got another one. Look, he's got another one. He might have two the way that rod's been, or he has a big one. He's got one. Yeah, look at that. The one popped up. Look, he's got another fit. Yeah, he's got now you have four. Four of them. Four. Yeah. I'm just catching a bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you never know when a big one's gonna bite. That's not just a bait one. Yeah. Guys are catching this. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, plus two, plus two, go look Oh, that is a good job. two at the same time. Oh, he caught two. Very nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, my friend's got a heavier rig here. And uh, I'm gonna put on a little baby Jack Creval here. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can catch a big fish on this, huh? All right. Here we go. Let's catch a big one. Oh, look, your dad caught two at once. <laughs> there we go. That dolphin's out there looking at my... Did that dolphin grab it? The dolphin. That dolphin grabbed my bait. That little cheeky devil went right over and grabbed my bait. All right guys, different strategy since the, um, since the dolphin stole my bait. Had a big steak off and see if, see if they won't eat a piece of cut bait. I really want like a red drum or black drum. There actually was a red drum swimming around the shallow water um, when I went back that way. And these guys were all going crazy trying to catch them because they were big, so. I'm getting a bite. Ooh. Ooh, something biting on that chunk of cut bait. Got him. You got something. That was fast. On the cut bait. This is a good fish. Oh, it's a big remora. Er, yeah. Ah, it's a big remora. Kind of cool, though. Uh, yes, please. I don't want to haul him up. Look at all the ones that if you scooped, they're all following them. That would be so funny if you scooped multiple ones. Remember when I scooped the bass at Lake Wall? Oh, we got the double so that was following him. I gotta keep him up just a little bit more. Look, there's another one swimming with it. Are you kidding me? I got both. Are you? What just happened? What just happened? He was following the bait. He was following, and I scooped two up. I scooped both fish. Is that camera on? There we go. Thank you, Pops. Daddy, I have a fish! All right. There you go, sir. Thank you, Pops. Wait, uh, that is a big one. <laughs> Pardon me? Do you want to keep him? No, it's it's not quite a shark fish, but not quite a shark. Are you able to keep 
Um, yes, I actually ate one. It wasn't too bad. There's just not a lot of meat on them. <laughs> so if you wanted them. Otherwise, we'll just let them go. But you can have them if you want. If you're feeling adventurous. I'll take it, I guess. You'll take it? All right. There. There we go. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, you guys can keep it and eat it. We ate one, and it wasn't too bad. There's just not a lot of meat on them. He's taking it home. There you go. Sweet. Yeah, enjoy. So while all that was going on, the schooling fish moved in around the camera. See croaker on the bottom there, and then whatever that fish is on the top. And uh, this confirms what they teach in fishing, that uh, usually predator fish just look for the weak and the stragglers. Look how the blue fish and the remora just kind of cruising through them here. And I just think they're looking for ones that can't keep up with the main school. And they eat those. And check this out. Whoosh. Right through them. That blue runners charge through all the bait fish. Let's rewind that see that again. That is cool. They just tear through them. And any ones that can't keep up with the school, they just eat those, eat the weak ones, eat the stragglers, and don't even worry about the rest of them. And check this out, a school of Pompano moved through. This is cool to see. There are like 20 or 30 of them here that just cruise by. And that's why you can be beach fishing and have all your lines out, and all of a sudden they all go off at once. I thought I saw a shark cruise around here earlier, guys. Um, it's hard to tell, but it was moving slower than dolphins. I don't think it was a dolphin. Okay, see that big, that dark shape over there? I think that's a shark. Pretty sure that's a shark. And then, because over there are dolphins, their fins are coming up out of the water. Yeah, that has to be a shark. Or it's a big ray. So check it out. It swims straight at the camera. And it's a nurse shark. It just swims right to it. And... knocks it over. What the heck? That was crazy. I don't know what that shark did down there, but he was... Interested in something? All right, let's cast this guy way out there. There's a dolphin there. Oh, I think he's going now for mine. He's going right for it. I think sometimes they just take your bait out of cheek and spite. He's got it. He's got my bait. Got a dolphin on, guys. He probably just yeah. He just has my bait. He doesn't even have the hook. They're that smart. They know how to grab the bait without even grabbing the hook. Cheeky devil. Look at him up there. Curse you, Flipper. I thought this shot was cool because you see the separation between the two bait fish types there. You got the croaker on the bottom and then uh, that little bait fish on the top there. And uh oh. Look who's back. A little camera hog. You guys informed me last time this is called a file fish. And there are two of them. And then a cowfish. First time ever filming a cowfish there. And all, all, hey, stop, stop it. All three of them love the camera. And then check this out. A jellyfish, I think it's a dead jellyfish, floats by and all the pinfish are eating them. Never seen that either. Oh, there's a shark in the background. They're all just taking little chunks out of the jellyfish. That was super cool. And then here's the nurse shark again. They remind me of sturgeon. I, they just cruise around. They kind of have that mouth on the bottom. And I th think they're just like the vacuum cleaners at the bottom. And then check this out. For the first time, a dolphin. Catch a dolphin on the underwater camera. That was super cool. And then the nurse shark is just cruising around and around. They really do remind me of sturgeon. I think they just go along the bottom. They don't really leave the bottom that much. And they just eat all the scraps that are down there. And then <laughs> check out this fish. What the heck? <laughs> I guess he got a crab or something. And then you see the nurse shark again just cruising in the back there. I think they like to hang around the piers because there's lots of uh, bait and stuff that's thrown in. They can just go along and suck it up. And then check it out, the little cowfish comes back. I love this little guy. I need to start a saltwater aquarium, seriously, and put all my little favorite reef fish in there. He's so funny looking. I love him. He's got something big. I gotta go see what that is. <laughs> this kid has five on his sabiki. Almost five out of six, and you guys are here. That's a big. Oh, you need a pier net? I have a pier net. We're good. Are you sure? Okay. One. <laughs> Dude, that's a big reward. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. 
you, you're over halfway there. It looks real. Real! Oh, oh my god. Trust. <laughs> oh, oh, help you. There we go. <laughs> Dude, that's a big remora. Oh, nice job. Oh, that's pretty. Dude, that's beautiful. Very nice, very nice. Cool. Got something? Boy, it's pandemonium all of a sudden. You got you got a bunch too. What the heck? Like everything turned on like at once. There we go. You got four. four a Christmas tr Christmas stringer. Like hang them up as Christmas lights or something. Decoration. Um, I you know, I think that guy's kind of keeping. He's he's trying to stock up on bait. Oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah, guys, I think, you see how many jacks we're catching, everybody else is catching? I think a bunch of fishermen out here stocking up on bait. They're throwing them in the freezer if they're not outright eating them. But a lot of them are too, like that guy's stocking up on bait while the jacks are just crazy, going crazy. All right, my friends, we have come down to the beach now. I want to switch it up because, number one, the dolphins are real annoying. And I'm hoping by coming down to the beach... We have less of a chance of dolphins getting it. Not that there are none out here, but there are definitely way less in front of the beach. I feel like they go to the pier to harass the fishermen on purpose. And so, coming to the beach, hopefully there'll be fewer of them. I'm making my dad haul the cart <laughs> again. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. A uh, little beach fish in here. Which one do you want? You want the, like, the pompano one or you want the little micro one? The pompano one. one, all right guys. So we have two uh, rigs here. First one, this is kind of a pompano one. It's got a little uh, hair jig. As the, instead of a sinker, I put that on there. And then there's these little tiny pink, oh, I put a white one on there because one got bitten off. But a little pink uh, shrimp all the way up. And then I'm gonna use a micro, a little tiny micro sabiki to try to get like a cigar minnow or something. Hopefully I can put live on a hook on the, on the big rod right there. All right, first uh, <laughs> first cast of the new spot. It's about to say first cast of the day. But nay, nay. Oh, got him. There we go. Yeesh. That's what we want. All right, guys, got a little, I don't know what that thing is. All right, my friends, got the first piece of bait in there. We'll turn on the bubbler. Make sure it's working. It is working. He's getting revived there. Sweet. <laughs> Gotta watch for these jellyfish around here. That's a big jellyfish right there, guys. That'll put a hurt locker on you. Oh, I see a dolphin out there. Still, whenever I see a fin come above the water, my first reaction is like, <gasps> Got him. Oh, oh, he, <laughs> look at that. He got off and he came right back over. Got is that so hard? I think it's a hard tail. All right, all right, that is beautiful, guys. We are fishing now. If I can get him to shore, all right, got him up on shore here. This is excellent, guys. I have a good feeling. Look how bloody that fish is. And he, I'll try him alive first, but if he doesn't do well alive, he'll also make good cut bait. Like when fish are that bloody. Oh, look at that, guys. Cleared for action right there. All right, hard tail. Whoa. <laughs> hey, who? And there's a big jellyfish right there. I gotta be careful with those. I'm gonna get whacked. All right, hard tail. <sighs> Away. There we go. Come on. Catch a giant speckled sea trout. Now I do a spotted sea trout. No, yeah, speckled trout. Guys, check out what my dad's using. He's using a big uh, skitter walk top water. So let's see if he gets something on it. Oh, you got one right there. What the, what was that? Like Is that a ladyfish? That was cool though. It was fun. I can see him coming. Oh, yeah, something. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> Guys, my dad hooked up on a top water. That is so cool. What? I want to see what this is. Is it just ladyfish or? Yeah, it's a ladyfish, but oh, still on a top water. I mean, that's cool. That oh, that, fun. oh, shoot. There he goes. They, the, the ladyfish must have really soft mouths because that happens all the time. Oh. The ancient keeps working. We're kind of working our way down the beach a little bit. He's working a top water. I've just got the cut bait out there. Cut a uh, hardtail. 
<gasps> wait, wait, Pops, there's a, guys, there's a giant ray right there. It's huge. I mean, it's a big dude. A ray, yes. Oh man, if you stepped on that, the, the barb on that has to be like eight or 10 inches long. You just gotta blow up. You just gotta, oh, look at that, you gotta blow up. Look, I'm getting a bite on my cut bait. I got him, I got something. Look at it, look at all my, on your top water. Look, do you, you've got one too? Sweet. Oh, mine came off. What do you got? Oh, is it another ladyfish? I don't know though. Dang it, I, I, mine got off. Oh yeah. Woo! <laughs> like a tarpon. It's like <laughs> fighting a mini tarpon. Whoa, that is cool. <laughs> yeah, it's a big. You know, yeah, let's throw it in the bucket. I could for that chum project that I got going on. You guys got a chum project, I'm gonna try. Guys, in case you aren't aware, ladyfish are considered a trash fish here in Florida. Right there. I might try eating it though. I've never attempted eating a ladyfish. That might be what we do is eat one of those. I've got him. Finally. Got him. Wait, what is that? I wasn't even looking. What? Guys, I got something. Oh, it's oh, I think it's another ladyfish. I think we have to catch and cook some of these. See if these are actually trash fish. Look at, <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's like a tarpon. It's like a tar you got some top water action. Oh, she's coming right. <laughs> you big goof. That is actually kind of cool the way they fight. Tarpon. Oh, there's a big jellyfish right there. Almost got the jellyfish. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, my friends. Well, the sun is officially down, folks. Which means we have about 30 minutes out here, 20, 30 minutes. Still want like a shark or something. Something tasty. Oh, guys, you see this? You see this? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, come on. Come on, fish. All right, guys, last cast of the day for the third time. Come on, Pops. Well, that was right by that buoy that was out there. Is that like a crab trap or something? Or something? But it's been out there. I wonder if somebody like ties their boat up to it, if it's like an anchor. Look, what? You got, you got something big. Are you kidding me? Oh, on the last cast. It probably wasn't going to be the last cast, but we'll make ourselves think that it was. Wow. Oh, it came. Oh, it came. What the? That was big. What was that? I don't know. It was I jumping. It, that might have been just like a huge ladyfish, no, actually. That's what I, mean. I got to throw out there. Okay, that wasn't the last. <laughs> <one>. oh. <laughs> Not quite the last. I feel like this, right by those buoys then? I feel like this is very sharky right now, you know. We're in shark zone, and I'm standing in like, you know, way too deep of water. All right, my friends. Round three out here at the pier and making my dad haul the stuff again. Um, yeah, well, we are determined to catch something good to eat. So we're out here on an evening. Well, hopefully it'll be a good evening bite. We're gonna go all the way to the end of the pier, see if we can catch something on lures. All right, guys, so this is Austin. He's a subscriber. I just met him here. And uh, what are you throwing? A bubble rig. Just nice. My dad's going to tie one of those for the first time, too. Yeah. Just a little. Guys, it's just a, what is that? Just a tube, just like yep. a surgical tube or something. I don't know, something. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's I'm just going to try that out. Hopefully, we'll see what we got bottom with this. Sweet. So we are going to go with the bubble rig here. All the cool kids are using it. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've ever used one of these I've before. never used one, but that's it. It's just a little bit of tubing or a straw. Somebody said a McDonald's straw can work just as well on the treble hook. Okay. So let's give it a whirl. Sweet. Get some Spanish mac. So slow day, huh? Yeah, so far. We've only been here a short time, but uh, slow so far. So is this for is this for Spanish? Yeah, that was, uh, that's basically a bucktail that, uh, I mean... 
know hey. you got a different couple brand, a couple different brands, but other than that, that's yeah. Okay, yeah, I've just never seen one that short before. I was like, I think their teeth tear it up, and I don't know that they care. But I mean, they like the bucktails, the Spanish do. So, but, so it can uh, be for both. All right, guys. So uh, I just learned something brand new that Braden, a subscriber, just told me. If you guys watch the live stream, he was on the live stream. Uh, would you explain to everybody what that was? So uh, the two tides that are coming through, they uh, they've met, and so it goes all the way out, and whatever's floating through the uh, the tide, whether it's seagrass or a dead fish, is caught up in the middle of the tide. So the uh, whatever's hanging around the dead fish might be able to catch. Okay, so it could turn on the fish and that's coming toward us, that line. For sure, yeah, it just moves down the beach and you can see how far out it goes. So yeah, wow. Whatever's floating, you know. Sweet, sweet. So we gotta wait for the tide line to come toward us. So is that coming toward us pretty quickly? Uh, yeah, here in about 20 minutes, if the wind keeps pushing in, okay. it'll pull through. So yeah, the uh, whatever's floating, whether it's seagrass or it's a uh, piece of driftwood, it should hold some fish on it. Sweet. All right, guys, you can see the tide line there real clearly now. It's getting closer. I can pretty much cast to it. Let's do this. <gasps> There's something. Somebody has something. That's a first. Oh, yes, there we go. Braden. That's Braden got one. Guys. Or no, it's not Braden's friend. Oh, yeah, no, it's Braden. Nice, man. Sweet. Right when that tide line hit. Alright guys, sure. guys real quick. You guys see the tide line out there? Just like you said, man. That's awesome. Wow. Nice little Spanish. Very nice. Just like you said. Yeah, I can even just see like more junk in the water and stuff. Oh, there it is. Right there it is right there. There they all are. Look, look at look at all of them. Look at all of them. Guys, there's just a massive school of them. Got him. I got one. Oh, he got off. Shoot. <laughs> oh, the school's right here. Oh, wow, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that. Got him. Yes. Oh, I think this might be a ladyfish. Ah, shoot. Oh, she flipped off. That is totally fine. <laughs> I'll take it. Got him. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, are those all ladyfish? Oh, shoot. Oh, damn. My leg was... My leg was... I just pulled one out. Got him. Oh, thank God. Catch my leg. Hold on. Hold on. What we got going on over here? Oh, this is a tank. This is bad news bears right here. All right. Oh, I was hoping those were all Spanish mackerel. I know, I wish too. Oh, that's easy. Do I even have hooks in this thing? I thought that whole school was Spanish mackerel. I was like... Man, they started got buying it. hooks, right? Uh-huh. I going to say, better than not catching anything. <laughs> that might be a Spanish, it's not Jordan. Oh, okay. Guys, look at all those. Look at all the, look at all the activity out there. This is crazy, right at sunset. This just came alive. Everybody's standing around bored. Right behind the, right behind the tide. Uh -huh. Damn, look at them on a jellyfish. Yeah, they're throwing it up. Oh! Come on, Bill. Well, they're hard to keep hooked. Look at them. Look at them just tearing up the jellyfish. Wow. <laughs> guys, look. The sun just set. And all this action. That guy's hooked up on something big. What is this? Oh, you hooked him sideways. You hooked him side. Nice. Oh, it's a big Spanish. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Woo! Wow. <laughs> On a jerk bait. <laughs> got him. I got one. Fish on. Yes. Please don't be a ladyfish. I need something good to eat. Uh, I think this might be a lady. Uh oh. Tent. You guys are crossed. There you go. Go ahead. I'll go under. You go over. I got a ladyfish. There we go. 
One later. Got him. Fish on. Little one. Oh, this is Spanish. Here's a Spanish. My first Spanish. Come on. Be a keeper. Be a keeper. It might be a small one. It's funny, Pops. I switched to a spoon. So I was trying to catch all the ladyfish. Hmm. I need to measure this one. Oh, well, there's one. Wow. Very nice. That, yeah, I think he's a little undersized. You know what? I can just tell, and I'd rather try to catch a keeper rather than uh, waste time measuring that one that I'm 90% sure is too small. Got him. Yes. Yes. All right, let's hope this isn't a ladyfish. It's another Spanish. Oh, wait, we're, we're crossed. I'll get around you, my friend. There's somebody. No, oh, we're not anymore. Oh, I think this might be a keeper, guys. Oh, God. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Nice. Yeah, that's a keeper. Yes. All right. We've got dinner. <laughs> right at sunset. I don't do this very often like you, so uh, <laughs> I'm happy with that one. Yes. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. Look at that guy. That is fantastic. Mm, that's satisfying. Look at the teeth on that guy. Oh man, that's cool. It, uh, to try a new type of fishing, folks. Oh, finally caught a keeper Spanish mackerel. I just bought this spoon a few hours ago too. That's why I got it on. Just looked good at the tackle store. So, oh, almost everybody left. I'm, I'm out here. Just, I want one or two more bites, guys. Or just one. Come on, fishy. Where you gonna? What do you, you have any recommendations? About how I'm I not gonna lie. Usually, it's just depending on what I want to do. Usually okay. If I want to put in some batter deep fried, or if I want to put it on the grill and grill it up. So, but uh, yeah, either one, you know. Okay. For sure. All right, cool. Right. I appreciate your help, man. The tips yes, and like that was cool. Cool yeah, to meet you. Genius. I'll probably see you out here again. It's gonna say, uh, yeah, I'll be out here for the next couple of days. So Sweet. You're gonna be out here. Mm -hmm. around. All right. Sounds yes, good. Sir. We'll try to do another live stream too. For so. sure. Yes, sir. You have a great night. Hey, <laughs> you too, man. Take him up on. Are you giving us a fish or two? Sure. If he, if I mean, if he's willing to give him up. I got a bunch of fillets in oh. Because we have a subscriber here who wants to give us some fish. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Oh, just I think one other one, one for me and one for my dad. Three. Three. Oh, okay, okay, three. Yeah, we'll take, uh, we'll take three. three. Hey, appreciate you. that, sir. Thank you so you. much. Appreciate that. Uh -huh. Yeah, it wasn't and, quite enough for a meal. So. And, and my wife's back home. So yeah, that's true. That's amazing. true. There are three of us. So yeah. appreciate that, sir. Good Thank you so you. much. Good yeah, sir. Appreciate you guys watching too, man. Back the house one day. What was Here your you name go. again? That's right. Yeah. What? What was your name again? Asher. Asher. That's right. Asher. Yeah, Asher. And uh, yeah, maybe. Are you guys staying here a few more days? Yeah, yeah we'll be ready. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. So I'll probably see you guys you out here again. Live stream. Yeah, I might be doing a live stream out on the pier. So I'll make an announcement on like the community page of my YouTube channel. So yeah, if you guys want to be in it. See All right, see y'all. Thank you so much for the fish. All right, guys. Now we've got a meal. Let's take you back to the house and uh, let's cook. All right, my friends. Back down at the beach the next day and uh, we're gonna clean these fish. Thank you so much. The subscribers who gave these to us. Now, I've only cleaned mackerel once, I believe, so let's see how this goes. Shouldn't be too hard. They have real soft skin. They are a beautiful fish, that's for sure. Yeah, it cuts so wow, cuts like butter. This guy, this like it's like a guy from Spain in this one video. He did it in like two seconds. I'm not gonna quite go that fast because I don't know what I'm doing, but um <laughs> oh yeah, it just cuts through them like butter. Like, talk about an easy fish to clean. Good grief. Look at that, got the filet off oh. right there. That part, it's like this. The skin is soft, the flesh is soft. The rib cage in the, like the, that area is really small. And then there are pin bones right here and he said just cut them out. I think I got all of them. Yeah. How cool is that? All the pin bones, it's like when you're, when you're cutting through cold butter, that's pretty easy. The skin hurts to be on or not, quite frankly. That's true. Leave that one part. You know on what? In that one video, the guy stopped the video after he didn't 
you know what that might be right because if the skin is so thin mm -hmm. that guy either either he didn't want to show how hard it was to remove the skin from the flesh or they just leave the skin on we're gonna try we'll try leaving the skin on we can always take it off later look at that. I mean leave the skin on for some of the pieces there we'll just fry them like that it might be like trout that way and then this carcass here, I'm gonna throw it in with all the other carcasses and some of the trash fish I've been collecting, like ladyfish and stuff like that, for my chum project video. And I'll show that video to you guys when it's finished. I'll put a link to it in the description. So it's gonna be cool, I hope. All right, so back at the rental, I'm gonna cook up on this little outdoor table and this little outdoor uh, patio area. And I've got something new here, folks. I'm very excited to show y'all this. This is a jet boil, not sponsored, two burner um, propane burner. I haven't even opened it yet. <laughs> Just the one piece, that's nice. Sweet. Look how much bigger it is than my, uh, I mean, it's not just, it's not way bigger than my old one, but we got quite a bit more space. You know, I've been catching a lot of bigger fish recently, <clears throat> so I need the upgrade. There we go. Warnings, who cares about those? Instructions, don't care about those either. Just kidding, I'll probably read those off camera. And check this out. It looks like a robot to me. Like R2-D2's cousin. What's up, dude? Oh, it's all shiny and new. That is cool. It's like, it's, well, you know what we're gonna call it, R2. R2 because, just because, it, it reminds me of like a little robot. And look at the huge pot that comes with it. Sweet, I could have two things going at once here. This is fantastic, I love it. I love how new and shiny it is, and it's gonna make, uh, be able, I, basically I can make a little bit more elaborate recipes maybe with it, and uh, I just think it's just gonna make the whole process easier. All right, so I actually did read the instructions real quick. You should always do that with a new, especially something that has propane to it. All right, Louisiana fish fry seasoning. First cast seasoning, the best seasoning in the whole world. And a little more salt. Good mix. Oil in the brand new pan. I did give this a little wash. See, look how safe this is. This is good for me to have something that I can I twist this. They said go all the way at first. Okay, I can finally hear it. You guys hear that too? I want to demonstrate this. All right, so all wide open. And then this little thing here, just look at that. Just a little knob right there and starts the flame right up. And this brightness, you probably can't really see it that well. But there we go. Getting some of the mackerel, cutting it into nice little strips there. Make kind of little fish sticks. You know, with ocean fish, don't worry about going too crazy with seasonings and soakings and stuff like that. I mean, I just put my first cast seasoning in salt because, you know, just uh, saltwater fish just taste way better. So, let's, uh, that looks good. Looks good. And then we'll get to these in a second. These are crazy. This is the, the new thing, kind of. It might be something, something real, it'll become a staple on my channel if these turn out as good as they sound. Oh, I love it. Excellent. Strips won't take long to cook at all. All right, let's open up these suckers. So these are called plain pu puppetums. Poopadums, puppetums. We'll go with pup puppetums. These are a British food, or at least I got them in the British section here. It's a product of India, though. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure I found these in the British food section, so... Look at that. Interesting. Wow. They're like mini tortillas and they supposedly they just like cook in just a few seconds and they inflate in the oil and then you've got like these fresh crispy tortillas apparently. Now, since I'm new to this, it might be getting a little overly hot here. Look at how the oil is smoking. I'm gonna need to turn this sucker down. That is, oh wait, now that's up. See. Cook up with something new here. Let's see. Oh, what's up, guys? Come on over. How's it going? 
Good to see you again, Sam. Good to see you there. Sweet. All right, guys, so I have some subscribers here that I met in the hot tub last night. Here, let me make sure I shut off my smoking oil here. Oh, that's the wrong one. Okay, I didn't know y'all, everybody was coming, but that is fine. Uh, everybody will like get one piece, I think. You know, actually, let me do something. There's enough. I wasn't sure. How many things do we have? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, eight. Eight. I cooked eight pieces. Perfect. All right. So I thought it'd be just four of you. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm not even cooking these. All right, we're going to try this real quick. What the? That is wild. What the? <laughs> Dude, it's like, you see that? That is the first time using these. It said it cooks in like three seconds. And there it is. It's what like, is a, it's it? like a tortilla. Yeah. I didn't know it'd get that big. I thought they would like stay that small. <laughs> you know, could one of you guys grab a paper towel off there? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, so we uh, met in the pool the other night. I was like, I'm cooking yeah. up some fish that I caught. If uh -huh. you guys want to come try it, some mackerel. That is crazy looking. Okay, I thought they would be small and everybody would get like a little finger one. <laughs> and they didn't, and they're hard and crisp. Um, well, we might get back to that later. For now, we'll just try the fish. All right, guys, so my dad has joined us out here, and uh, one of the things we're doing, we're gonna let the fish cool for just a second because it just came out. And we wanted to try with the skin on because everybody skins the mackerel, which is just pain in the butt. So let's see if you can leave the skin on. I'm sure a bunch of you fishermen out there are curious. Some of you guys probably already know if it's good or not. You just grab it with your fingers. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to. Yeah, you're good. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, do do those last couple of pieces there. And I have some tongs here. It looks fairly... Oh, the skin is bubbling a little bit. That's interesting. All right, so you guys can be totally honest. Don't worry about like being, oh, it's a 10 out of 10 just because, okay? So I'll start with you, Sam. I met Sam first in the hot tub. Yeah, it was pretty if cool. You... It was pretty exciting. Oh, you got to gotta get more than that on there. If you get want, a lot, if you want... get a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. All right, Riley's next. Want me to wait or just start digging in? You know, just start digging in okay. while it's hot. Mm. It's kind of hard to grab some on there with the the, the big chunks of pickles, but. Uh... Yeah, I mean, that quarter sauce is good. Isn't that good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm just trying to Yeah, you don't have to have some if you don't want to try. The tartar oh, sauce, you don't have to. Gotta get a lot, yeah. Yeah, there we go. yeah. it's kind of hard to grab it with the fish. You want to get a little bit more? Excellent. All right, on a scale of one to ten, with ten being like a Pompano Joe's fish and one being like a carp, what do you guys think? 9.5. 9.5, 10. I agree with Amber, 9.5. 9.5? Excellent. Well, you know, for such a great rating, if you guys want, I actually have an extra bottle of First Cast Seasoning, oh. if you want it. So, <laughs> so that, I just cooked it in that, so. It's good. You, you cool. didn't do that ahead of time, did you? you didn't discuss that. No, I didn't discuss it with him. I just, uh, I, I, was, I was gonna give it to you anyway. I was anyway, talking but. to him about a seasoning. Yeah. I was asking him he had his own seasoning. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. fantastic. I, I love Thank it. You. You're welcome. Yeah. All right, and the final thing, guys, you gotta try. That is, one's done for sure. I'm not sure what you think. I want to see what yeah. the skin looks like. Yeah, the right? skin. The skin might be nasty. It might. I'm not really sure. Try that. Here. Now, is it bubbling? We should flip it around there. Oh, it is here. It is bubbled. It bubbled oh, up. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, pops. Is this something I, we're gonna taste, or they're gonna let them taste that too? Um, I think we should taste this so we don't put anybody else in danger here. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Apparently this is a British thing, a British chip or something. You guys want to break off a piece? Anybody want to try it? Try you know, it. Yeah, I'm gonna try a piece. if it doesn't snap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I didn't get a big enough piece. Okay. Tastes like popcorn. I think it's good. It's popcorn. Yeah, it does taste like popcorn, kind of. Oh, that's crazy. It tastes like popcorn. It does taste like popcorn. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's weird how it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's what's okay. the yeah, okay. it it needs like something in it. It's just yeah. kind of like eating a plain. Like maybe you need like a dipping sauce. Yeah, you could you could dip it in yeah like um Honey? Uh, French yeah. onion dip yeah, yeah, yeah. kind yeah, of a thing. All right, let's do it. So my dad and I are going to try Put the, the old, flesh on. Uh huh. Oh look, mine broke in half. Ooh, that's still it's very still hot. hot. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bon Cheers. Appetit. How is 
salty. Skin on, I wouldn't leave it on. You wouldn't, yeah. It, it, it's starting to, like, it like makes it, it taste fishier. If you're a fan of really fishy flavors, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not as bad as it's I not, thought. It's not unholy or anything. No, no, not as tasty. Hmm. Interesting. You could leave it on if you like the fishy flavor. I know a lot of older guys like really fishy flavors. Our grandpas and stuff seem to enjoy that. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for trying it. Thank you for subscribed and uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. All right, before we put everything away, let's just watch this one more time. <laughs> That's crazy.